Some scoff laws, when caught red-handed, may claim the devil made me do it. U.S. Representative Mark Wayne Mullen blamed the Lord <laughs> for this. He is featured in today's scoff law report. Representative Mark Wayne Mullen was elected in 2012 to represent Oklahoma's 2nd District in the U.S. House. In running for that open seat, he distinguished himself from his opponents by signing the U.S. Term Limits Pledge, committing him to co-sponsor and vote for the Congressional Term Limits Amendment Bill. He also promised voters he would serve only three terms in Congress. It turned out he was lying in both cases. Upon his election, he was asked repeatedly to co-sponsor the Congressional Term Limits Amendment as he had promised to do in his campaign. He refused. Most Congressional Pledge signers live up to their commitment, but it is not unheard of for a pledger to turn scofflaw after they get comfortable in Washington, D.C. But it is the breaking of his three-term self-term limit that was truly novel. In 2018, Mullen ran for his fourth term in office. There was an uproar from his constituents and the media for this about face. Representative Mullen posted a video of himself and his wife at home explaining his decision. You know, he said, we really thought about this and we decided to break the pledge after consulting with each other and God. And this is the decision we came to. God, really? Mullen deleted this shameful performance from YouTube soon after but not before he was given a 2019 Scammy Award from U.S. Term Limits. Our next Scammy is the best of the worst. This is the Scammy for Best Actor. Best Actor? It's a little bit tongue-in-cheek. It goes to the politician with the worst excuse for breaking his or her Term Limits pledge. Mm. So we're looking for the biggest liar when it comes to cynical politicians who promise voters one thing and then do another once they get into office. How did we narrow down the field to just a couple for this award? Well, there were so many. There were literally thousands of dishonest politicians who had taken and broken term limits pledges that I had to actually cast lots to find four. Well, let's find out right now. I'm going to open the envelope. Oh, okay. Okay. And the scammy for best actor goes to Mark Wayne Mullen. Mark Wayne Mullen. The man with two first names and the man with two broken term limits pledges. He didn't just break the pledge he made claiming he would step down after three terms. He also broke the pledge he made to sponsor the U.S. Term Limits Amendment. So I think at the moment you do that, at the moment you become twice as dishonest as everybody else, uh, that really sealed your fate. How could we give it to anyone else? Good choice. Such arrogance is not new. Back in 2017, in a meeting with constituents that was captured by KOCO Channel 5 in Oklahoma City, Representative Mullen made this claim. The one you said you paid for me to do this, bull crap, I paid for myself, I paid enough taxes before I ever got there and continued to through my company to pay my own salary. This is a service. No one here pays me to go. I do it as an honor, as a service. But that salary, Guys, I I'm just paid. saying, I'm just saying, don't, don't, this is a service for me, not a career, and I thank God this isn't how no, I make a living. Please. Of course, this isn't true. Mullen was paid $174,000 plus benefits that year by taxpayers. The fact that he pays taxes, as we all do, hardly alters that fact. To Pat Campbell on Oklahoma's KFAQ Radio 1170, former Oklahoma Congressman and Senator Tom Coburn summed up the career of Representative Mullen as sad. Well, I think it's sad for Oklahoma, and I think it's sad for Mark Wayne Mullen. You know, it, you, you can change your mind, and that's honorable. But if you change your mind on term limits, what you do is you say, I won't run, I'll honor my term limits, and then I'll come back the next time and run again. Because what it tells us is, is that the arrogance of power has now infected his thinking. And so for me, I think it's just really sad. If you can't believe him on term limits, what else can you believe him on? So his obligation really is to Washington, believing what Washington tells him rather than believing what he's told Oklahomans. And so, you know, it's just sad. You know, I mean, you know, that's what happens in Washington. I mean, we see it every day. Look at the stupid things that are said from Washington. Like, you don't pay my salary? Mm -hmm. Give me a break. Why would you say that? You know, our big problem in our country is we don't trust Washington, and Mark Wayne just added to it. 
You can't trust them because they actually like Washington more than they like us. The bottom line is that scofflaw U.S. Representative Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma ran on term limits and made specific pledges, one in writing, that he had no intention of keeping.